Hey, how you doing today? It's your girl named Ashley, Ashley's Daily Blogs. What's up? I wanted to say hi to everybody on Google, Facebook, Instagram, and um, YouTube. Okay, what I want to talk about today was the Fifty Shades of Grey movie. Okay, here I got you ready. I loved it. I did not read the book. I loved it. I even, even without reading the book and maybe went into a little bit more details uh, about it and uh, me not even reading it, I still got the logistics of it. I thought it was good. I thought it was awesome. I thought it was really picked it, um, the two characters. The one thing I wanted to say, <clears throat> like when I was watching the, um, commercials for it they didn't hype it up the way it was going to be like it was literally like what the commercial said it was going to be like it was going to be i think it was more um the reporters hyping it up than what it was to be um if you watch the five second clips it's exactly like what's in the movie but like more people were talking about it like interviewing and stuff like that it was hyped up but it really wasn't um i wanted to say something about the guy who plays mr greg um I kept wondering in pictures, he would just like have these funky looking face and like be like all mysterious and stuff like, well, why not like, you know, really into her, but he was still in character and like, if you look at the pictures, if you look at the scenes in the movie and did you go to the magazines and you look at his picture, he literally looks like that character. Like he's staying in that character and at that time, you know, was giving that sultry look like the dominant person that he was. And let me tell you something, women. Let me tell you something. Girl, now y'all know y'all like that man. Y'all know. You want a man to do that to you. You want a dominant man. And a lot of women might not say they don't want a dominant man. You're lying. You're lying. Because that's hot. That's hot. You want sometimes men to take control. Right? But I like who they picked for the girl. She played her part very well. She was doughy-eyed. She was a virgin. She was innocent. Did not know anything. He was shocked about it. Like, where you been all my life? I've been waiting for you. That's a clip from the scene. Like... It was really good. And the thing, like, a lot of people don't know, if you sit there and watch the movie, even though he's the dominant and she's submissive, the roles do switch. You have to watch it really carefully because she comes to be dominant. And the reason why I say she comes to be dominant is in the emotional apartment. She opens him up so much that... He's never been there before in his life. Like, he's never been that open in his life to anybody. So, they're both playing two roles. They both are breaking roles. More than one rules than what it needs to be. But, I think both of them, in a way, were playing. One was playing dominant. One was playing submissive. He was dominant in his making love department. But, she was, um, she was submissive in that part. Now, he was submissive in the relationship part of his emotions to her. And she was dominant. Like, she controlled that motherfucker. God. The only thing I did not like. The only thing I did not like was the ending. Now, I don't know if they did that for a reason. Because I heard there is a second book coming out. And I heard there's a second movie. Now, what I heard, there was three books coming. Three books. That's what I heard. Um... And like I said, I never read the book. I don't need to read the book because um, it's literally, literally, maybe a little bit different, maybe a little bit more detail. You know, I had watched another woman's um, clip and like she said, there's certain things you just from a book cannot um, display on camera. You just can't, you know. Um, but other than that, I really opened my eyes. I took it more as like more of a relationship part like I am not gonna lie some scenes in there I wouldn't want to do I would I thought it was very sexual very intimate very um very real life and the like she said um they gave you a false sense of hope they did they really did in the beginning they gave you a false sense of hope but then and as the scenes go on you really start seeing the raw part of it. They gave you the fantasy. They gave you what you asked for. But in the real part, they give you what's more about the book. It's more about two people.